Kauhanui Yautu Pautu. Welcome on my beautiful island of Nukuriba. We are on the beautiful island of Nukuriva and here we are at the village of Hatiheu uh, on the archaeological site of Kamuihe. My name is Aniata Kimitete. This village is, uh, is very special to me because that's where my father was born and raised. So I came here since I was very little. Kamuihe, it means uh, breaking the neck. And uh, it was a very particular site because a lot of people were living here. This site actually was the um, beginning of all the navigators. They were living from Kamuihe. They were going to islands like Cook Islands to search for red feathers. Because the, the color red was a sacred color. It's the, the sign of life. It's very important for Marquesian people. here is just uh, like 10 percent of the site because uh, actually this site is, is it's the, one of the biggest of the island. All these platforms uh, they were saying what rank you had on the on the society. The population would only stay over there on the Tohua. The Tohua is the main place so it's the gathering place. And the higher you go, you had then the, the artisans, uh, the warriors. So all these platforms have a different uh, specific role in the society. And this tree here, it's called the mape tree. Before the pahu, so the drum, this one, this was our drum. And that's how you will call the population and tell them to uh, gather on the Tohua uh, because there were no telephone or they, they couldn't send messages. So that's how they were doing it. These trees are very useful. And uh, it gives this fruit. They, they sell some on the road in Tahiri. If you see it, you will see just mape, and uh, you can cook it, and it's uh, it's very good. It, it's uh, it's very sweet. It's almost like a sweet potato. And so this seed here. It was, uh, it's from the, here we call it Tumuama, so it's the, the light tree, fire tree. Uh, in French we call it Noix de Bancoul. When you light it, it will burn very slowly so that uh, you will have light all night long, you know. So on the Pretorgrip, they've put like a uh, normal, they, so there are a lot of uh, representation of uh, sea animals, like uh, like fish, uh, seabirds, um, the mahi mahi. So normally you will see it better on the reproduction they made for the museum. Yeah, everything was. Uh, centered uh, around the ocean. The belief of the Marquesian people is that when they die, uh, they will go and cross the ocean to go to Hawaii. So Hawaii is the heaven for Polynesian people. This is a banyan tree, and the banyan tree, uh, they were not place like randomly on the side. They, they have a specific uh, 
role in the Marcusian society because Banyan are always put on the west side of, of an archaeological site because that's where the sun will go down. And so the Banyan is um, it, it's, uh, it's a bit like the turtle, it's, uh, it's the link between the dead and the living. It's a very sacred tree. Actually when someone died, because some people couldn't, um, they, they were not high enough in the society to have this uh, special ceremony where the soul would cross to Hawaii. So instead of that, they, they will be inside the banyan. So they, they will at least manage to have like a yeah, higher purpose for their souls, you know. So they will not stay on earth and hunt you. Yeah. Yeah. There are some, some sites that are full of energy, of mana. Uh, this site is okay uh, because uh, we did a lot of ceremony to uh, like, uh, um, scare the ghost away. But there are other sites like in Hivaoa where it's still forbidden to go on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> 